this video we are going to perform a deformation analysis first an i section is being modeled and we get the values of the different dimensions from the above mentioned site and before moving into the video make sure that you subscribe the channel and like the videos okay let us now begin any deformation analysis or stress analysis etc will be dealing with the static structural so from the analysis systems we have to choose static structural okay i have chosen the static structural and in the static structural the first section will be the engineering data engineering data enable to enables us to specify which type of dimension that we are choosing type of mate sorry which type of material that we are choosing and already the engineering data will be having an input value of structural steel as the material and i am not going to change that the structural steel is being specified as our material and now let us move towards the geometric section We are not choosing the space claim section. We are only choosing the design model. Okay, I am going to choose design model. And the design model is now loading. It may take a few minutes. Okay, here is a design model. In the design model, click on sketch. And now we need to draw the eye section. For drawing the eye section. click on concept option in the concept option select the cross section and which type of cross sections do we need are all listed here and here we are going to choose i section and here we have a general i section now we need to customize this i section for our need and we need to specify the different dimensions w1 w2 thickness t1 t2 t3 and the w1 value will be 103 and oh sorry the units is in meters now we need to alter the units towards millimeters okay 103 will be in mm and then w2 will be 103 mm and w is 106 mm Now the thickness T1 and T2 will be 8.8 mm and T3 will be 7.1 mm. 8.8 mm T1, 8.8 mm T2, 7.1 mm T3, and 8.8 mm mm. Okay, that is specified. Now we can extrude this I section. Okay, click on extrude, then select which diameter. and the yellow color lines will be indicating that our geometry is being selected i section is selected now click on apply and now the depth will be 500 mm okay the depth is specified now we need to click on generate okay it is being extruded let us look over it something is being missing ah uh, yeah it's a jump for strengthening the i section we need to chamfer its edges before selecting the chamfer click on the edges we need to chamfer this edge this edge this edge and this edge now very very rather four edges are selected okay now four edges are selected now click on chamfer and all the four edges as selected now press apply 
now we need to specify the depth in left side and right side both sides we will be specifying 5 mm ok after finishing that we can generate ok now let us look whether the chamfer is ok ok the chamfer is being created now all the edges specify that's all about the geometry and after clicking generate let's move towards the next section that is modeler modeling section okay now i click on the modeling section and the modeling section is being loading and it may take a few minutes okay the design model the modeling section is open here in the modeling section we are going to do the machine we are going to fix the supports and we are going to give the load and afterwards we will be solving now this 100% is everything is being loaded and we call the geometry wait a second ok in the assignment section just look it is structural steel now the engineering data is ok now let's move towards the machine I am going to apply only a simple machine. Okay, simple machine. Okay, now we can move towards the next step of applying the loft and fixing the supports. Okay, right click on the static structural, insert fixed support. I am going to insert the pixel support in this space this is the page selection and this page is selected and pixel support is inserted ok now next step will be to insert the holes for the pressure following the different values that can be inserted and I am going to insert pressure I need to select which geometry I am going to insert the pressure. I am going to insert the pressure in the top geometry. Click apply. Okay, that is fine. We can change the direction. Before moving into direction, let us look on the magnitude. The magnitude can be applied as tabular format as a symbol. Uh, symbol point lock etc and now i am going to apply magnitude it is not a table of data i am going to apply the magnitude of 1000 pascal press enter that is fine now let us solve it before moving into the solution we need to insert this type of solution and solution can be total deformation solution can be uh, equal and one minus stress solution can be equal and one minus strain or the solution can be energy strain energy first i am going to insert total deformation now let us solve here we can see the percentage values of the process it is 78 percentage okay we get that done let us move towards the animation video ok we can see that uh, the, this is a pixel support over here this is a pixel support and the opposite edge we will be having a maximum deformation and in the pixel support region a least deformation with the blue color and now let us insert a stress component equal and one minus stress ok let us solve it is inserted sorry in the fixed support region the stress will be high and away from the fixed support the stress will be less and this is the reciprocal of that of the deformation now we can find out whether where which are the regions where maximum stresses are available click on result then select maximum in the maximum we will be selecting this point this is where the maximum stress is available and the minimum stress select minimum and this is a region where minimum stress is available 
then also we can find out the stars available in any point by clicking on prop let us check at any point at this point the value of stars is 7000 70,904 Pascal these are the different values of the stresses and similar thing can be seen in the deformation too maximum deformation is at this point minimum at that point and the prop we can select the deformation at any point 5.504 e raised to minus 007 ok that is fine and now we can load the pressure as a tabular format click on the pressure then select the magnitude so then change it to a tabular here the table is being denoted and initial pressure can be 0 then final pressure can be 400 pascal okay, let us load that These are the stress values. You see that the stress values have changed. Deformation values have also changed. That is all about the deformation analysis of I section. I hope that everyone get the everyone could understand my explanations. And please subscribe my channel and share your comments below and like promote my videos.